Welcome back on the program. Good morning, Abuja. And uh, yes, uh, we've been having an amazing time so far on the program. And guess what? Uh, that amazing time is not coming to an end anytime soon as uh, the studio is packed uh, full of uh, things that we want to bring to you to inform, educate, as well as enlighten you. And we can only achieve this if we are in a safe and secured environment. Yes, I'm talking about our weekly uh, instead of this program, the part where we bring you the efforts of men and women of the Nigerian police force and the wonderful things they are doing in ensuring that we are not only safe, we are secured. It's on that note that I want you to join me to welcome to the studio and the show this morning, none other but AIG Adebowale Williams, the AIG of Zone 7. You're welcome on the program, sir. Good morning, sir. Yes. Uh, the Federal Capital Territory uh, has been adjudged one of the most peaceful places in this country. And um, the efforts, of course, uh, the credits for that goes to men and women of the Nigerian police force. However, this peace and security the city enjoys, it's further strengthened by particularly your own efforts as the AIG Zone 7, that is a zone that borders uh, the FCT. How challenging has it been for you and your men in ensuring that the harmonious peace and interaction that exists within the border uh, states of the FCT and the FCT uh, uh, is, is, is uh, sustained? Uh, yes, I, I always say something. that Everywhere you have peace, you have the support of the people. They are doing their bits to assist in the security by way of, like some people having CCTV camera, you have your vehicle, you bought a vehicle of uh, uh, 20 million, and you're able to fix a uh, tracker in the vehicle. Little, little bits you do to assist in the security is the role you are playing. And therefore, it assists the police to carry out their duties to prevent and to arrest because it will assist us to track whoever must have stolen your vehicle to wherever he has taken it to. Yes. With prompt reports, we take prompt action, we get results. So, it is the efforts of everyone. Oh, amazing, amazing. You see, that's the beautiful thing about the policemen. When we say, ah, the police is doing well, they say, no, it is you, the people who we are policing that are doing well. But uh, we are very grateful here in the FCT because uh, we can walk around at any time of the night or the day. We can move around and do our normal legitimate business. And uh, we are saying kudos to the police. However, it's important that we highlight some of the very critical issues as concerns security so that we'll be better informed. And one of these issues is the states bordering FCT. Let's take from Kogi State, uh, Nasarawa State, Niger State, Kaduna State. These places uh, have certain security challenges, which at least in the last, um, let's say, two years, uh, your men have been able to arrest. In the time past, these places used to give residents concern because traveling out of the FCT, you go to any of the states, the routes you take, you're concerned. Like the Kaduna axis, there was this uh, incessant kidnapping. But your men have risen to the uh, occasion, and it's like that never even happened in our historical remembrance. Yeah, once again, thanks to sister agencies. They are giving their support, the military and other security agencies. Um, then the supervision of the men, the provision of logistics, vehicle to patrol, technology to track and monitor events by government. And all these are put together at the efforts that uh, we are making. And then we also talk about the support of the people. I just said that with regards to if you see something, you, you say, say something. something. And then we also take action on whatever you must have reported to us. We are working with uh, everyone. And it is not easy really being on the road, patrolling and doing stuff without the support of the people. And we're also monitoring our men to ensure that they are professional 
and the extortion is reduced drastically, and therefore the Inspector General of Police has directed that the monitoring unit should go out and ensure that our boys are doing what they are sent Supposed to, to do. do. Amazing, amazing. Now let's see, we're still talking security of uh, the, at least uh, the states with uh, bordering the FCT. Kogi State will be having its election in November. And uh, so far, it is proven to be a hotbed. Uh, but uh, at least in recent times, there have been no uh, nothing that we've heard from there. And this can be attributed once more again to the efforts of Ian Uh As we approach the campaign season there, especially since we are so close together with Kogi State from the Abaji axis, what would you? What would be your advice as uh, concerns how the residents should anticipate or participate uh, in the processes that are especially at the border side of FCT and Kogi State? Yes, um, they are going to see more presence of security agencies, especially the police, and uh, with regards to strategizing for that period of election, the FCT Police Command has been directed to commence uh, monitoring and uh, increase synergy and also to ensure the presence of the men along that border. Okay. And he has, he has started doing that. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Well, uh, you know, as we say on the program, good morning, Abuja. If we do not inform you, who will? If we'll go on a short break now. As you know, the beauty of this program is we keep you informed. And we've been doing that. And who else is with us in the studio to do this today has been uh, AIG Adibowale Williams. And well, we'll go on this short break. When we come back, he's still here to take a question or two. Are you interested in being up to date with the Pacey World of Sports? Our rebranded Capital Sports is the finest bet for your doing so. So join us every Thursday live at 3 p.m. on NGO Channel 5 Abuja to talk sports for your viewing play show. Remember, you can be a part of this number one sporting program. Join us on the analysis, views and opinions. Welcome back on the program. The program is still Good Morning Abuja this morning. There is something that we always hear all the time. The police is your friend. The police is your friend. This uh, has been exemplified over time. But can we over flog this issue when we say the police is your friend? Why should people be scared of the police? Well, the people have no reason to be scared of the police, you know. The only organization that is created to take care of the interests of people is the police. And what is your interest? You want to leave your house and go to your place of work without any problem? You want to get to sleep, try the night to relax without fear of someone coming to knock on your door, my friend, or bang over your door, break into your house? And all this is to enable you to carry out or to achieve what is that that is your interest. Why you go by your interest, some people are paid to ensure you are able to go by your interest. If we see it this way, you find out that we work together without any problem. Without police doing the right thing, without police enforcing the laws, without police arresting the criminals, without police prosecuting these criminals, you cannot do all these things successfully. That's true. And therefore, we are paid to ensure that you are able to carry out your interests Wonderful. within the law. Yes. Wonderful. So, are we not your friend? You're our friend. <laughs> you heard it. We are friends with the police, and the police is our friend. Uh, some, some people think uh, the duties of the policeman is, the, the police is just about uh, punishing, punishing, punishing. Is the police strictly about is it strictly punitive or is it correctional in nature? Uh, because there are some instances where we've seen crimes that are committed that maybe they are not that uh, serious, uh, especially when it concerns juvenile. And we've seen policemen come to communities to give pep talks, to encourage youths in the churches, in the mocks. This duty of the police is not spoken enough of. Why? Well, you know, what concerns people is that, is that crime? Oh, no crime. 
But there are so many things we're doing to prevent this crime. We're taking these proactive actions to even ensure that the people do not go into crime. Do you understand? Yes. And these are those efforts you are talking about to enlighten people, to talk to them, to discourage them from going into crime. And then um, all these are part of our job anyway, proactive action. But people don't analyze what you have prevented because they did not see it. Yes. Do you understand? So it is the one they are able to see that they are able to talk about. But that prevention is even more key because it is the first thing that we're supposed to do. Prevent crime. That's true. Don't allow it to occur. This is deep. And uh, if you're watching us at uh, the program, see Good Morning Abuja, I, I hope you're learning something because the duties of the police are very vast. Crime prevention is one of them. Unfortunately, we are running out of time on the program. But before we go, we'll take last words from uh, our AIG here. Let's share your thoughts generally. How conscious should we be uh, security-wise and what should we look out for as we uh, go about our normal business? People should be conscious about their environment. It is very important. You are able to know even where there is a problem, you should be able to know which area to run to for safety. So many of uh, our people don't even have the phone number of the DPO covering their area. It is bad. You don't know where you are going to need them. Let us all be conscious. Let us be observant of what is happening around the area so that before things will happen, we are able to uh, prevent it or even to respond promptly to the attack. Amazing, amazing. If your eyes are wide open and you are conscious of surroundings and uh, things that happen within your surroundings, you would uh, be better equipped to inform the police so that they can come and do what is needed to ensure you enjoy your security, your much needed peace of mind, as I would like to put it. Uh, it's been a pleasure speaking with you, sir. Thank you for coming on the program. Thank you. Yes, and we wish you all the best as you go about your duties of keeping the neighboring states, uh, especially the neighbors of the FCT, uh, in check so that we too can stay safe here. Uh, this is a symbiotic relationship. The relationship between the people and the police is a uh, one hand wash another situation. And that is why uh, we are commending the officers and men of the Nigerian police force. It's time for us to take a short break. When we come back, the program Good Morning Abuja continues. <laughs>